Hello. Um, here is the Canvas Artist 127. Um, I've gotten this like a month ago and I've been playing around with it. Um, it was about 50 bucks on Amazon with shipping. It's a nice tablet. Um, it's an older tablet, but like it was like this is 2009, but for the price and for the size of it, it is a quite a nice big area. I uh, will give my impressions on it and review and also how to set it up for one monitor. Um, it includes also um, the one that I got included full version of Photoshop Element 7 and Unled Photo Impact 12 SE. So it's nice. Um, and here's the actual tablet. It's fairly nice. It works. Here's the pen. It's a nice looking pen. Right click, left click, tab sensor. Um, it's fairly nice. Um, here's a little, little base, base for holding, holding it. it. Fine. Fine. Um, um, biggest, biggest thing, thing with this is it's got like, like programmable, programmable keys. keys. You can control. You can, can control, control if these are scroll or zoom. zoom. Um, you, can you can make, make this wide screen or four to three, three aspect. aspect. Um, it, it works fairly nice. Um, but so, so what's inside, inside the box? box. Well, well, there, there is, is the actual, the actual CD, CD with, with the drivers. drivers. Um, um, and then you get, you get the canvas, canvas jolt, office, office pen, pen memo, and presentation. And presentation. You get a trial version of um, some, some painting, painting program. program. Mm -hmm. nice. nice. That's, That's for Windows. Windows. Um, the, um, the Mac one, one uh, just, just a driver, driver tablet, tablet and, and a um, sample, sample program. program. Um, I've already taken off the sleeves off of these, so I don't, don't show the, the um, user, user code. code. Um, so, so there's Adobe, you get Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, Photoshop Element 7 for... Windows, Windows and, and it's six, six for Mac. Mac. Um, here's the Unled Photo Impact 12 SE. Um, I've also taken that off. And then you get a sample program, which is fun. Um, so let's start with the actual drivers. One other thing when I was really looking at this Canvas Artist 127, I could not, I did not know if it would work with my d dual monitors. Well, if you go through the actual driver setup, and I'll show you here, it doesn't exactly work. It so it it can work, but it splits between the control is for between the two screens. This is to show you if you have one screen how to install it, basically. But I, I found a way around it, so we'll install it. It's pretty simple just to install the drivers. I mean, again, it will ask you to restart your computer. Um, I will stop this recording and I will be back when I've restarted it. Now I've rebooted the computer, the drivers are installed. I'm controlling the computer with the map the canvas but the issue is I can only use like half of the actual pad for one screen and then I'm going on to the other screen which you can't see so how do we fix it well with the canvas there is no actual simple way there it's I mean you can try all the settings you like I have a just pen, it's in centimeters, it makes sense, but none, okay, well, let's just go through the what's built in. And that just shows you your driver, software, firmware, very simple. Um, show you, you can set custom keys up, you can, with the K, with all the special control buttons, you can set it up to, like, undo, restart, a specific design, whatever, whatever your needs are. Um, it's nice. Um, you can disable it. You can settings. You can ha make it make a sound every time you touch the pad or something. But 
that's not exactly what we want. And then the last one for Canvas tablet. Canvas tablet. It tells you the size of the screen firmware, and you can change the button controls. And I mean, I'll show you pressure. It it's working. It works. It it's working. So, how do we fix this? Well, there's a very simple way. The Canvas is a knockoff of the Genius G Pen MK12X. So, after when I was searching for this and decided to finally go for it, I spent a lot of time looking up, trying to see because I knew this was a rebranded thing. So, here's the thing I've already downloaded the drivers, but Here's the site, and I'll make sure to put a copy of the drivers on my website if this ever gets deleted off of this site, so you can still get at it. So either way, I have since downloaded them. They are right here. We open them. Well, we got to, of course, extract the files. Don't we all know that? So it's extracting the files. So here I've got it extracted now. Let's open it up. We want to get what's in here. This is the drivers that we want. The, I'm not 100% sure what the other drivers are for. So give it a second to extract the drivers. Pretty simple. And I, I'm control right now. I'm still controlling it. But it's only a third of the thing, so we let it run because it's downloaded from the internet. It will install it. Click OK. Let it install. Okay. Now it's successfully installed. And something has crashed for some reason. But that's probably why it needs to restart. Now, now we go here. What do we see? It's a different icon. Well, that's because we just installed. Now, we go under pen pad. It's basically all the same as the canvas controls. Slightly different, but slightly. You can see I'm, my pressure thing's working. Now, we change the mapping, and I'm going to switch it to only. I, only, I haven't figured out how to use monitor. I don't quite understand, so I just use position. So we do that. We just exit it, and there. It is installed, and it only works for one monitor. Very simple, and it's quite nice to have. So um, I've installed the drivers for just so it's only on one screen, but then some of you may ask, can I only use it on this screen? Well, like this K Canvas Jolt and Canvas Office Memo. Well, Office Memo's technically only 2000 XP, so I can't run it. Presenter, um, that one I can run here, so. Um, we'll install it quick, pretty quick to install. I'll show you how it works, which I'm not even sure. It's basically you can record your screen and show it and blah 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 and do some fancy things with your tablet and make like drawings and whatnot somehow. So, like here. But the issue with this is it's still, even though your red dot that's showing you what your actual drivers are showing you, your other control is making it so you can only use a quarter of the screen because it's still using what the canvas is assuming. So 
it's not perfect. It's basically you can't use it. But, eh, I mean, if you need that, I don't know why. Here's you the do. tutorial so. CD for the canvas. So, just got some intro. I'll skip it just for copyright reasons. English and there's some mini games to show you how to make your thing work. Actually, I gotta check that these actually work. So does appear to work with only one screen, so, um, the correct setup, so, and this is just basically to all show you how to get used to doing it, um, so, how does it actually perform as a drawing tablet and graphics tablet and whatnot, this canvas artist 127. Well, I have Painter X3, newest version up, and I will show you one thing that I've created. Well, this is a drawing that I did. Um, um, it's pretty nice. I mean, I personally like it. It's. I mean, I can show you right now I can draw something I mean it responds fairly well to my movements and it's not erratic really I mean it's a nice smooth curve it's quite nice honestly it I mean if you're somebody out there looking for a new tablet a drawing tablet or something this is a thing to consider for I mean it's a 12 inch by um, seven and a quarter inch working area. I mean, it's a nice big working area. Be if you somebody just like me, I'm just starting off, just kid messing around. This is a nice tablet. I mean, that's a drawing that I did. It looks nice. So, well, thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you in your process of deciding a graphics tablet. Thank you. Graphics tablet. Thank you.